hello welcome to our comedy coach in this section we are going to discuss about the nervous physiology and we already discussed many parts now here the next part of the nervous physiology that is the classification of nerve fibers we are going to see here what are the neurons and what are the connect collection of these neurons are forming the basically nerve fibers and these nerve fibers how we we can classify these nerve fibers we are going to see here so look on it first this is the our central nervous system in which you know this is the brain part basically that is cranium and these all structures are called as the basically brain stem and this is our spinal cord here spinal cord and uh, now we are going to see how the fibers are beginning and the beginning of these fibers are where they going to start and where they going to finish and what is these types of fibers here first we can see here these fibers are maybe either sensory or maybe motor nerve fibers or they may be combinedly both when the fibers collecting information from all the sensory parts means either hand and the sending information from our central nervous system that is brain and spinal cord the sending impulses to the skin or the factor part area that is the motor nerves so this fiber the fiber which having both the function either sensory or either motor they are called as the mixed one but the fiber which collecting just information that is sensory and that is sending information impulses from the central nervous system that is motor so it's so simple now ki the information sharing by the both they either collecting or either sending that is the both that is the mixed one but either collection of information maybe touch temperature cold pressure maybe everything or the anything like the vibration this all information is going to collected from this impulses at the nerve fibers they are going to our central nervous system and recognized by them so we are going to discuss they are basically classified the nerve fibers how fast they are or the how slow they are it means how much time it is taking to reach the central nervous system it depends on something that is called as myelination myelination is basically the covering covering over the neurons it means what simple suppose that this is our one neuron and this is the normal neuron basically on which if we are going to cover this neuron with the several components that is called as we are going to cover here in the several segments of these neurons and these segments are basically called as myelin so this myelin is providing a faster conduction in these neurons suppose that there is a forward axonal transport is happening here it means information is coming from cell body towards the synapses so this information are reaching at this end it means this information are very fast as i told you the myelinated neurons are sending the impulses very fastly why because of the myelination why because the area the area which is present in between the two myelinated segment of the axons is called as node of ranvier node of ranvier what does it mean it is the space area it is the special area in which the sodium ion channels are present abundantly it means there higher amount will be exchange of sodium and potassium will be takes place here that's why it leads to the jumping impulses movement there is a jumping impulses movement from one node to another node they are moving like this and that is called as the saltatory conduction saltatory means simple jumping the information is moving in the jumping way but suppose taking another example here is the another neuron it is not myelinated that much so it is not myelinated it means there is a everywhere channels are present and all the ions are going outside and inside it means their impulses are very slowly there is no special any mechanism to stop this ions or stop this exchange of the ions so these are just slow conduction of impulses forward axonal trans impulses transmission will be slow and here fast so the myelinated fibers will be faster conduction is done by them so these are written here in the second line it is based on the either presence or either absence of the myelin this is the classified on the basis of their myelinated part and these are classified in the three parts basically three types of these nerve fibers the one is type a 
टाइप बी एंड टाइप सी दीज आर द थ्री टाइप्स ऑफ नर्व फाइबर्स टाइप ए इज फर्दर क्लासिफाइड इन टू अल्फा बीटा गामा एंड डेल्टा सो द टाइप वन ए इज क्लासिफाइड इन टू फोर पार्ट बी सिमिलर टर्स बी एंड द सी सेम एस सी इट मीन्स विच वन इज द रिस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर द फास्टेस्ट टाइप ऑफ कंडक्शन इन आवर बॉडी सो द ए टाइप फाइबर्स आर द माइलिनेटेड वन एंड सी टाइप फाइबर्स आर अल अनमाइलिनेटेड वन इट मीन्स सी टाइप फाइबर्स आर कैरी इन्फॉर्मेशन वेरी स्लोली इट इज वेरी ट्रू बिकॉज वेन दीज फाइबर्स आर कैरी इन्फॉर्मेशन फ्रॉम द एनी रीजन ऑफ आवर बॉडी दे कैरी द इन्फॉर्मेशन इट मीन्स दे आर गोइंग वेरी वेरी स्लोली बिकॉज दे आर अनमाइलिनेटेड फाइबर सिंपल इट मीन्स सी फाइबर्स आर अनमाइलिनेटेड इट मीन्स दे जब सेंस ऑफ माइलिन एंड दीज फाइबर्स आर ए स्मॉलेस्ट एंड थिनेस्ट वाइट दे आर थिनेस्ट suppose that this is the neuron there is a no myelination no myelination it means these neurons are looking like very thin simple it means they are thin and they are smallest so they are always slow conduction of impulses or the slow conduction velocity of these neurons see which conduction velocity at 2 meter per second is the velocity of the transmission of impulses inside our body so what is the impulses transmitting inside our body with the 2 meter per second speed just by the type c fiber what is this if the type c fiber suppose that is a sensory in sensory it means they carry information suppose that this is our hand and from the hand they carry information and going to our spinal cord this is of course it is sensory fiber and after that they are sending impulses to our central nervous system it means brain or spinal cord both it means these are the sensory fiber the sending impulses above and what is type of these fibers if they are sending impulses very fast it means they are the myelinated one yeah what type of fiber is it that is either a and either b but not the c at least c is on myelinated fiber so it is not if these impulses are going very slowly what the impulses moving upside in the central nervous system from our different parts of body if these impulses are going very slow it means what type of nerve impulses here that is simple slow conduction of impulses why it is unmyelinated fiber so hope you understand now what is myelinated means and what is unmyelinated why they are fast and why they are slow and where their composition is different now we are looking a alpha one is having maximum myelination in the classification and it is biggest and thickest because there is a more myelinated fibers are the a alpha one there is a maximum myelination so it is looking like thick and it is the longest one or the biggest one and there is a conduction of course very fast because there is a more conduction more node of randbeard area will be spaced there more sodium ion exchange will be there and sodium potassium ch channel will be more there it will be leads to the more faster conduction more saltatory conduction what is the speed 120 meter per second it's very higher from the type c fiber type c fiber having 2 meter per second but here what is it 120 meter per second is it so it's very fast b fiber is also myelinated but we are not going to discuss here about the speed and what is the nerve fibers is thickest or thinnest we have to just memorize type a is divided into four parts b and c c is the slowest one their conduction speed will be 2 meter per second and the 120 meter per second is the speed for the type a fiber so it's so simple next we can see what is the spike duration means there is a minimum for type a group and maximum for type c group what is the spike means they are reaching on their top level when the type a fiber are the fastest conduction it means they are going very slight spike in the graph in our graph the spike their peak will be the very faster and they are the smaller because they are showing impulses very fast but in the second one type c fiber is the unmyelinated fiber it means in which there is a fibers going very slow they are forming peak very bigger it means the peak will be higher or maximum in which fiber type c because their peak will be higher they are moving very slowly next we are going to see characteristics of the nerve fiber what are the different characteristics we are going to discuss here for the nerve fibers first a alpha fiber the first one it is the biggest it is the thickest it is the fastest conduction of impulses it is the thickest one it has the maximum myelination of in inlets on and it is the fastest conduction of velocity in it and it is the motor type of function it means they collecting the impulses from the central nervous system and moving towards the periphery in our body 
इट्स सो सिंपल एंड इट इज अ टाइप ऑफ अल्फा मोटर न्यूरोन इन आवर स्पाइनल कोड इट इज प्रजेंट इट इज द लोकेशन ऑफ इट एंड इट इज प्रजेंट इन ऑल द ज्वाइंट पोजिशन इट मीन्स वेर इन आवर बॉडी इज ज्वाइंट सेक्शन सपोज एट एल्बो ज्वाइंट और द वी कैन से लाइक दिस द नी ज्वाइंट दिज ऑल हिप ज्वाइंट दिज ऑल आर द ज्वाइंट्स वेर द बोन्स आर गोइंग टू ज्वाइंटेड इयर दैट इज प्रॉपर सेप्शन फंक्शनिंग इज डन बाय दिस Proprio section it means simple tendons joints ligament is there all cartilages activities will be done in the joint region these all are controlled by the a alpha fibers and that is also known as proprio sepsons and they are doing sensory function it means in all the joint region from here from here all these joint region the information is going in our brain through the a alpha fibers and motor fibers is controlling only the spinal cord by the alpha motor neuron fibers so it is so simple next one a beta fibers A beta fibers is the sensory one. A beta fibers is the sensory one. They are responsible for the conveying the information for the touch. If anyone is touching you, it means the information is going to the brain. Basically, it is due to sensory fiber. And what type of fiber is sending impulses? That is the A beta fiber. Next one we can see, it is the large and myelinated because of course it is large and myelinated because it is the A type of fiber. And A type of fiber is myelinated heavily, so that is the thickest end. लार्जेस्ट वन नेक्स्ट वी कैन सी ए गामा फाइबर ए गामा फाइबर इज बेसिकली प्योरली मोटर दे आर कैरिंग पल्सेस एंड गोइंग टू द ब्रेन सो इट इज मोटर एंड इट इज द गामा मोटर न्यूरोन इट इज अ टाइप ऑफ न्यूरोन विच इज सेंडिंग इम्पल्सेस इन आवर बॉडी इट इज गामा मोटर न्यूरोन एंड दे रेगुलेटिंग मसल टोन दे रेगुलेटिंग सर्टन रिफ्लेक्सेस रिफ्लेक्सेस इन आवर बॉडी इज रेगुलेटेड बाई विच टाइप ऑफ फाइबर ए गामा फाइबर मसल टोन इज रेगुलेटेड बाई विच टाइप ऑफ फाइबर ए गामा फाइबर नेक्स्ट वन वी कैन सी ए डेल्टा फाइबर A delta fiber is also type of the what A type. It means they are conducting impulses either sharp pain or slow pain. Means fast pain or slow pain. Fast pain it means fast pain is also called as first pain or the fast pain or the sharp pain. Second one is the slow pain or second pain, and this is conducting impulses via C group fibers also. It means slow pain. If any patient is having very little pain or the slow pain, these fibers are going sending impulses very slowly in our brain. But the faster pain, you have to imagine. If you pain, if you feel the pain very sharply in anywhere in our body, it means the impulses are going to our brain very fastly. It means the what type of fiber is working here? That is type A. It's so simple. Next, we are going to see type B fibers. They are also myelinated. Yeah, they are also myelinated, as we see in the table. Next, we can see these are seen in the autonomic nervous system. Now, you know autonomic nervous system part in neuro anatomy already discuss about it. They are having two parts, or basically three. That is sympathetic, parasympathetic, and enteric nervous system. That is the digestive content. But in the autonomic nervous system, basically two parts: sympathetic and parasympathetic. It means all the nervous nervous part or the nerve fibers of the sympathetic or parasympathetic are included in which type of fiber? That is B type, B type of fibers. so it is pre ganglionic fibers and the post ganglionic fibers if the fiber is pre ganglionic before the ganglion or after the ganglion before the ganglion is type b fibers it means they conveying information very fastly but the type c fibers are the post ganglionic fibers they are conveying information very slowly what is pre and post ganglionic here you can see in this picture suppose that any nerve in nerve is originated we can see in this picture if any neuron or the nerve fibers is exited out from our spinal cord and they are going to the different parts of our body suppose that here is any organ in this organ they are invading what does it mean they are going to invading the gland here is the ganglion in the peripheral nervous system in the peripheral nervous system this is the ganglion and what the fiber that is originated from the spinal cord and they going to the ganglion this fiber is called as preganglionic because it is before the ganglion and after the ganglion is called as post ganglionic post ganglionic fiber and pre ganglionic fiber so it b type of fiber are the pre ganglionic fiber and c type of fiber are the post ganglionic fiber it means in our autonomic nervous system the all the b type of fibers are the myelinated one it means they carry impulses very fastly next one is post ganglionic fibers they are carrying impulses from the ganglion to the organs they are going very slowly so it's so simple next we are going to see about the large fibers large diameter fibers which one is having diameter is large which one is having maximum myelination myelination means again the wrapping around the neurons 
wrapping of myelinated contents around the neurons and what is the myelinated content here in which type of fibers is largest diameter that is a alpha and a beta simple and what is susceptible to the injury because of their heavy diameter of the neurons that is a alpha and a beta because of their heavy diameter they having maximum chances of the damage they having maximum chances of the what compression they having maximum chances of the injury so these fibers are due to the maximum chances of damage due to the compression in this and maximum chances of compression in the preganglionic fibers what the fibers preganglionic preganglionic we can see here in this picture this is the region of preganglionic neurons and they are near to the central nervous system it means they are affecting the central nervous system also we have to learn it and it is basically due to the susceptible to hypoxia the hypoxic condition leads to preganglionic nerve damage next one we can see what is the other classification of these nerve fibers that is sensory classification in this classification is the only for the sensory fibers they carry impulses for them it is the impulses is done by them and it is also called as numerical classification it is also called as lollard hunt classification lollard hunt classification either they are called as numerical classification need they are classified type 1 type 2 type 3 type 4 type 1 is called as basically a alpha fibers a beta fibers a delta fibers and c fibers there is no any b classification is inside it so the questions are coming from this topic like the sensory classification what type of uh, fibers classification do you know there is a b available in this no b is not in the sensory classification or the numerical classification or the lillard hunt classification no there is the only a alpha beta and delta and the c fibers which one is for the touch that is the a beta fibers we have to learn it and which one is for the fast pain that is the a delta fibers proprioception is managed by the a alpha fiber so these are the simple classification of the uh, nerve fibers here we finished and in next portion we are going to discuss another part of the nervous system thank you